Welcome into the Commander's Report. I'm your host, Jack Sperry. We got some big Duran Payne news last night, which is that he's going to be a commander in 2023. We kind of expected this because Duran Payne's one of the best defensive players in the National Football League. Didn't really expect the commanders to let him hit the open market, but it was made official yesterday that the Washington Commanders are going to use a franchise tag on Duran Payne if, he, if the long-term extension talks uh, don't result in a long-term extension here by the deadline. So this is The Athletic broke the news last night. This is what they had to say. The commanders are expected to use the franchise tag on free agent defensive tackle Deron Payne. Two people with direct knowledge of the situation told Ben Standick. Penn was, uh, Payne was named to the Pro Bowl after a career best 11 and a half sacks and 64 combined tackles last season. So this is big news for commanders fans because uh, although we kind of expected this, he, it, Payne is one of the best defensive players in the National Football League. It is looking like he will be back with the team next season, which is, of course, great news as NFL free agency quickly approaches. All right, guys, go ahead and, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel here. Here at, Commanders, here at the Commander's Report, it's a brand new channel. We are, re we are booting up this channel along with four other channels, but... It's a competition, all right? The one, the, the channel with the most subs, the, the one that can get the most subs here over the next couple of weeks is going to get a full-time channel. So if you want a full-time Commander's channel here at Chat Sports, go ahead, click that subscribe button, and also like this video uh, to tell YouTube to push this video to other Commander's fans. All right, so let's talk a little bit about money here when it comes to Deron Payne uh, and how much it's going to cost the Commanders if they do end up franchise tagging him. So if that comes to, if that comes to pass, they can't find a long-term extension uh, that's that's mutually beneficial for both sides, and they franchise tag him, it's going to cost the Commanders nineteen million dollars for 2023 and that's quite a bit of money right that's that's not it that's not insufficient right that's quite a bit of money that's, that's going to put him around what the, probably in the top 10 range of the highest paid defensive tackles in the national football league but when an extension gets done and i firmly believe the commanders are going to get that extension done this off season this is what it's expected to be four years 22 million dollars which puts him right there at the top of the highest paid defensive tackles in the national football league and he absolutely deserves that in my opinion he is one of the most versatile defensive tackles in the national football league he is big enough at 6'3 320 pounds to play a true nose tackle he's a run stuffer he can ta he tackles really well he commands the line of scrimmage but then also he's versatile enough and athletic enough to be a true pass rusher you saw it last season 11 and a half sacks as an interior defensive pass rusher just an absolute absolute monster in the middle. You can put him at three technique in those nickel packages. You could even put him at five technique as a defensive end in three, four base alignments if you really wanted to because he's just that athletic. This is a, He really blossomed in, into the player that the commanders were hoping that they were getting him or that, that they were getting when they, were when they drafted him in the first round a while back. He has finally bloomed into the player that, that, that commanders fans have been hoping to see from him in his career. I'm very excited to see what he's going to be able to do in the years to come because it sounds like he is going to be a commander moving forward. I'm very excited to see what Washington and this defense is going to be able to accomplish with him in the middle for years to come. So let me know in the comment section right now, is Deron Payne a top five defensive tackle in the National Football League? I certainly think so, but I want to hear your opinion in the comment section. So go ahead, go in there. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. So type Y for yes or type N for no.